Hey doctor, do you ever encounter bony spicules? Most of us tend to think of the bone as a static structure. However, the bone is actually a dynamic structure that responds to forces such as bruxism, grinding, clenching, and yes, even dental implant placement. The forces that a person exerts on their bone can result in protuberances such as tori, or in this particular case, a bony spicule. The patient presented with a bony spicule years after I placed the implant, citing that it was uncomfortable. We gave the patient the option to just simply leave it alone and let the body remodel or have us remove it altogether. The patient chose the latter. So in this particular case, we administered local anesthetic for the patient and reflected a full thickness flap. You'll notice the design of the incision to be somewhat of a Caldwell Luke type design. We place the incision on the attached gingiva and then loop it apically so that it's a bit of a curve. This is me showing you the bony spicule in and of itself. Naturally, I will have surveyed this site with a CBCT to ensure that it is not pathological and that it is indeed bone. Here I am using a surgical handpiece and a carbide burr to simply remove and smooth off the spicule. Patient is under local anesthetic and the whole procedure is benign and uneventful. After smoothing it off, I reposition the flap and I feel the site to make sure that there's no more sharp protuberances that can bother the patient. After we've done that, I reposition the full thickness flap and place three interrupted sutures over the site to ensure primary closure. In all, the procedure takes no more than half an hour. The patient is thrilled and I get to make a video and share with you what I just did today. Have yourself a wonderful day. Cheers.